Greetings, Randy Labonte here, the host uh, through Canny Learn, uh, the BC Partners in Online Learning Symposium. That's now a virtual conference. I want to tell you a little bit about what it is that we have planned for you. But first, these are very challenging, very unusual times. We should be planning our event at the Delta Burnaby and looking forward to the kind of networking that face-to-face -face does provide for us. Now we have to try to create that kind of similar networking online to the best of our ability. That's our challenge. It's for challenging times for all of us, particularly our delegates and our presenters who are also trying to do emergency remote teaching. Some of you very seasoned in your ability to do that. Others of you who are just hitting this for the first time. So it's really topical for us to look at that context in which we are in and to challenge us as the groups that are planning an online learning event to actually model what is possible in a digital learning medium uh, if it's planned, supported, and executed appropriately. We're going to learn as we go and we're going to ask for your feedback as part of the process of us hosting this online event. First of all, we are planning live sessions. No, not slideshow presentations with one-way uh, talking heads. Live, articulated, planned exchanges, Q&A, and online sessions. We're going to archive and record them. If you can't make a particular session live, you'll be able to go and access them within the learning environment as well. We're going to use the tools themselves that can be used in online learning programs and approaches. We're going to have them uh, in learning management systems. No, not one. No, not two. Hopefully three different learning management systems so you get an experience of what they may be like. We're going to use the actual tools that may or may not be available to you or similar types of tools. We're going to use shared document collaborative spaces. We're going to use forums and discussion areas. We're going to use live feedback uh, tools. We're going to manage this through moderated sessions, presented sessions, live moderators, and curated documents. We're going to compile all of this afterwards in one place and one space for you to go back and reference. So this is not a one-of event. This is a start of a series of events as well as sessions that will continue on into the future. What the main topic that we're going to be looking at besides how to use these tools, how to work with them in an environment uh, digitally, but we're also going to challenge the one question that is really facing us now. And Tony Bates has captured this in some of his blogs. And if you follow hashtag CannyLearn, you'll be able to see that we post some of this in our own sessions and blogs as well. It's what happens after this? What happens after the pandemic, the emergency remote, remote teaching? How do we transfer this into effective online pedagogy? How do we transfer this into the ubiquitous use of tools and access to those tools? How do we deal with access, uh, accessibility? How do we deal with remote learning? How do we deal with students in rural settings? So a lot of these challenges are already being met across Canada. So because we're online, we now have cross-Canada presenters, cross-Canada delegates. We have a whole smattering of people now that we can look to from, for their expertise. Well, the entire delegate population, presenters and moderators, are smarter than any one of us can be. So we need to tap into that collective, and we will tap into that collective, and we'll share it, curate it, and hopefully we'll all be stronger and better in our online pedagogy after the event. I look forward to you coming to join us. I look forward to the delegates that were signed up for the face-to-face -face event to be a part of the four days. But if you can't make it for four days, just sign up for one. Pick it, get it archived, and use it. We will continue to share this stuff as we go forward. And Canny Learn is right now planning for a micro-credential program to launch in September to help us recognize what is essential in online pedagogy as well as how we can move forward. And we'll be working with our partners from all of the network uh, provinces, as well as working with our partners in post-secondary to bring that towards rationalization in post-secondary programs and credits. Look forward to seeing more about that afterwards. But first, check out the program online. See what you like. We hope you can come and join us.